Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. Today, I'd like to talk about mordants. Now, I've had a few videos here on the channel about mordants. That is an alum mordant and a tannin mordant. But today, I want to talk about a soy milk mordant. Now, I like to think of mordants as simply a bond that forms between the textile and the dye matter, which allows for the colors to adhere better and therefore it's a pretty important step in natural dyeing. So the wonderful thing about soy milk is that it's super accessible and easy to use and something if you have a little bit of time and patience you can have yourself a beautiful inventory of natural material ready to receive the dye in your dye pot. So join me today on Color Quest as we look at soy milk as a mordant. And if you're interested in learning a bit more about natural dye, I now have a new digital course available. You'll find a link below. It's called Cooking Color. It is a 17 video tutorial, a kind of natural dye 101, which works through the entire process of how to create a successful dye practice. It also has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a dip dye ombre project. So if you're interested, find the link below and join me over at my digital course. Love to have you over there.
I love it when something is so easy and accessible. And although it does take a little bit of time, what I do with my soy milk morden is that I make a larger batch so that I always have inventory ready to go of textiles that have a mordant. And you'll be happily surprised with how well soy milk can work as that mordant bond. Now, next time on Color Quest, we're going to look at a tannin-rich food scrap that is a wonderful dye material, and that is red onion skin. I've had a video on yellow onion skin, which is also a fantastic dye source, but red gives you a, well, different color. It is tannin-rich, so if you don't have time to mordant your textile, you can use it without. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you every Friday on Color Quest as I have new content all about the amazing world of natural color. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified every Friday as well as the subscribe button. I love sharing my passion of natural dye with all of you. Have a great week. See you next time on Color Quest. It also has a It also It also has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make